Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another tutorial. As you can tell, this will be on a gas station and a Wendy's restaurant combo. This will be a two part tutorial. I hope that you all enjoy this build and tutorial. This will be part one. Thank you all for watching. Now, let's get this started. Well, hey there again, everybody, and welcome back to another tutorial. And as you can tell, we are going to be doing a Wendy's and gas station combo. Now, this gas station is a Texaco uh, gas station. Now, fun fact, this was my very first job in real life over at the Wendy's. Now, this is a Wendy's on this left side here. And then on the right side over here, is the actual Texaco gas station. It's all in one combo. Now I'm gonna give you the plot size of this build. So it's going to be uh, not very wide, but it's gonna be longer than wide. So it's gonna be looking at this red line coming across this way from a tape measure. It's gonna be 52 blocks. And it's going to go back 139 blocks. So 139 by 52, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're looking at here. So you see these yellow markers here? If I come up and look down real quick. Those yellow markers is going to be where the gas station pumps, uh, the overhang is going to be at. So it's going to overhang around the pumps. So that's where um, it's going to be sticking out. All right. And then it's going to come back all in line straight back all connected to back here now the very back line will uh, include the drive through line here the white line and then it'll come along this way so that's the numbers that we are going to be including uh, this drive through line here as well so 139 by 52 well, Alright, now I'm going to quickly say, before we start this tutorial, that when it comes to your parking lot, it doesn't matter what your parking lot looks like. I'm not going to include the parking lot in this tutorial. As long as you have an entrance, an exit, either the front, I got two in the front, and I have one in the back that I started there, and then back there there's another way that's going to connect there's going to be another restaurant on that side but as long as you have a nice big area enough for trucks to come through parking spots five by seven parking spots as you see just enough room around that's all that really matters all right so that's out of the way let's go ahead and start on these pumps and this area here is the most easiest so if you look down here and you can see the black markers those black markers is going to be the actual supports that's going to be holding up the structure up above the pumps alright so we're going to have these black markers here and they're going to be we're going to start on this first one right here all right, looking down at it like this, it's going to be the first one right here facing the road that way. All right, so it's going to be, you're going to place a black marker down, and you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Number sixteen will be another black marker. Okay, and then you're going to have the same amount of blocks. 15 and number 16 will be another black marker all right so you're gonna have another row here and again it's going to be 15 and number 16 here will be a marker and so on so they'll all be lined up all right now looking at it like this you're going to have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 blocks in between that away. All right, now once you've got your black markers in place, then now let's go ahead and look where these pumps are going to be, and that's what these are here marked out. So we're going to start with the first marker here that we started with. We're going to go to the right of that. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to mark out these three here. And then you're going to have one space. Looking down at it like this. You're going to have these Dorite walls. Or you can use a different style wall there that you want. For barriers so cars don't hit the pump. And then you're simply going to go ahead and do the same thing on this one, this one, and on this corner it will be the same. So four blocks in between and this is the same, this one here and this one right here. Alright, now you have these here which are directly in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven will be that. So just go ahead and put them right there in the middle. All right, now once you've got that situated, go to your black markers here, the supports, and you're gonna go up 13 blocks. And you're gonna use the white concrete. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So do that on all the rest. All right, now once you've got all the white concrete pillars coming up like this, then now go ahead and grab your quartz slab. You're going to come out. A total of six blocks with it one, two, three, four, five, six coming out this way. And then going along this way, you're going to have 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15. So you're going to simply do that on all of the corners. So again, right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this way will be 15. So do that on all the corners. And then on the middle sections, just take them straight on across. Just like this. Connect that up. And then going across this way, you're going to connect them up as well. well Alright, now once you've got something like this right here. Then now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab the red concrete. We're going to go on this side and we're going to place two like this. Now both of these here will go all the way around the entire base of this up top. And then you're going to take black carpet and place all the way around on the top of that. And then on the inside, grab your Dorite slabs, and they will go right in here for the underside roof. And then I'm going to be using the endstone brick slabs for the top of the roof here. So go ahead and fill that in. All right, now once you've got the entire top filled in, it should look like this. Again, with the black carpet all the way around the red. Up under, all this filled in as well. And as you see, we have some black marker blocks up under. That's going to be the lights. So let's go ahead and count these out. And I'm going to go ahead and be placing the purple stained glass in this texture pack. This is what it looks like. You guys can use whatever uh, glass block that you want. Even use glowstone if you really want to do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and start 
let's see I'm gonna start on the very middle here we got this between these pillars and if you come straight up or we have this mark come straight up here you find the middle point and you're gonna have one two blocks right here so two blocks and then you're gonna mark these two here these black blocks I'm gonna use the glass like this so for now just mark these out and then come back and put the glass alright so once you've got that middle one there then these all in the middle is going to be in the straight line all the way across so this one here again comes straight up Uh, right here you gotta have two blocks and then again the two glass all right now once you've got that then again with the middle here you're going to count right here one two three four five six seven eight and nine will be the glass alright so over here again this will be seven blocks eight and nine will be here and then you have these two in the middle these will be three blocks here so we're gonna have three and then we're gonna have the glass same for here you got three blocks there and then the glass there so that's the middle strip the middle strip will be one block different from everything else that's why we have done that one first alright so now let's just come to either pillar it doesn't matter which one you're gonna come straight up it's gonna be two blocks right here and then you have two lights and then you gotta have two blocks here before the red alright so that'll be on all the pillars so go ahead and do that on all the pillars and then you're going to count from that one there you're gonna go one two three four five and number six will be the light so you have five blocks in between that there so you're going to have this strip here five blocks in between there all these perfectly in line off of this here you're gonna have one two three four then the two lights and then you have three in between the two lights and then four here same on this side you gotta have four there two lights three in between two lights and then four and then two the two lights and then two before the red so that's gonna be straight the same as this pillar line here and then again these here will be five blocks apart here and these here will be all in line three blocks in between there so go ahead and put in your lights if you use the light blocks like I do you can tell a big difference down below it's not too dark but it's not too bright as well just remember if you don't have them in your hand You'll never know that they're there. You can't see them if you don't have them in your hand. Well, right now it's time to do the pumps. All the pumps will be the exact same way. I'm going to show you very quickly how I've done this one right here. It's very simple to do, and I like this design. Now, I did say that the pumps will be three blocks, as I showed right here. These three blocks here, as I marked out. 
I ended up having to make it four blocks wide. So when you come to your pillar here, you're going to have one, two, three. And then you're going to have these four here. One, two, three, four. All right. So that's the only thing that you're going to change. So right here, we got one, two, three, four. You're just going to end up having three in between right there. And the pumps will be four blocks wide. That's the only thing that you're going to have to uh, modify there. So all the pumps will be just like how I'm going to show you here. So the bottom here, I got the red concrete four across. And then I used the gray wool. Got two layers on top of that red. I have the bamboo button on the left side. The middle I have the oak button. And on the right side I have the cherry button. Now the reason why I have three different color buttons is because you have your cheap gas, middle grade gas, and premium gas. And that's the selectors. Then you got your screen here which is a painting. So I'm pretty sure every texture pack has some sort of painting that you can make it look like a screen. So you're going to put that there. Then you're going to have a lever here for the actual gas nozzle. And then on top of that lever I have one, two chains coming up as the uh, gas tubing or the gas line. And then on the very top, I have iron bars connected as the base up around this red here. Now I have this red is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks long. And it goes around the whole top, three blocks here. Looking down at it, this is what it looks like. All right. Now, this side here is the exact same thing as the other side. So, like I said, all your pumps will be just like how I'm showing you here. Now, on the sides here, I use the birch trap doors all the way up. I got four here and then four on this side. Now, right here, I have four iron trap doors going on across here on top of that gray wool so again you're going to do the same exact thing on all of your other pumps all right now once you've got all your pumps built this is what you should have here now go ahead and grab a banner of the same color that you're using here so I got red because the text goes are red so whatever color that you're using on your gas station here Go ahead and put your banner here and I have a number and letter tutorial on banners. I'll link it down below in the description. This will be where your numbers will go. So this will be pump number one, pump number two, this will be three, this will be four, this will be five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and because this one here will be a double uh, here, you guys can just go ahead and take this and then take your banner there for ten. Here it will be eleven. Over here will be 12. Alright. Again, my tutorial on banners will be linked down below for the numbers. Alright, so once you've got those, then now let's come up here and look down so I can show you where I'll be placing this at. So, right here, I'll be coming out these yellow markers here will be a total of 22 blocks. I have it right here in between these two walls. So 22 blocks here. And then 
this is where we're going to start the uh, blue here. The light blue terracotta is what I'm using. It's going to be seven blocks long this way. And this is where a parking spot is going to be for handicap. A five by seven. So seven blocks going up. And then you're going to have five blocks in between. And then another seven here. Alright, just trying to make sure that you guys have everything positioned correctly. So once you've got this, then right off this blue here, you're going to have a total of one, two, three stone slabs. Alright. Now these three stone slabs to this black marker here, you're going to have three black markers make sure you guys got two different marker blocks I have the black and I have the uh, glowstone just make sure you have three different or two different marker blocks that way it's easier okay so you got these three here we're gonna do the gas station side first so these three and then you're gonna come down like this and I have one, two, three, four of these. And looking down at it right here, where I got these three slabs, I got these three here up against there, and it's a step up like this. These slabs will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks there. You have two here, and then two on this side. All the way around it, it'll be pretty much two blocks with a sidewalk. Now looking down at it like this, you're going to turn this way. And you're going to have one, two, three, four, five. Here will be a entrance. You're going to have four blocks. So one, two, three, four. This here is going to be where the actual door will be. And you see these step down one block before here. And then they'll step up one block after that. Alright. And then you have three blocks here. And then this is where a window is going to be. So right here. I have the smooth stone slabs in there. And I have a total of. Nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks in between for that window. Now right here we have a little stretch. Total of 15 blocks from here going on across to this corner. Alright, now we're going to turn this way like this. And we're going to be counting this corner block as being one. So you're going to come on across a total of 16 blocks to this block right there. Alright. Now you're going to turn this way looking at the black line here. You're going to count this here as being block number one. Counting this one. You're going to go across... A total of 24 blocks. Alright, so this is being one going across 24 blocks to this corner here. Okay. Now, from this corner going on across, you see you have this line. This line will be the 14 blocks in between. Okay, on this side. And this side from here to here, you have 11 blocks. So you need to position this line here. So this would be the 14 in between there. Alright, so counting this as being one, going on across, you have a total of 11 blocks. So you get to this corner. Okay. Turning this way. 
You got one, two, three, four, five. Turn this way like this. Counting this as being number one. You have a total of 15 blocks to right here. All right. Now, right here you see you got three blocks and there's a marker here. This is the back door. So mark that out as well. All right, now let's back up to here, to this corner. All right. This is being a block number one. We're going to come all the way down to that corner. And that will be a total of 25 blocks to this corner here. Now you notice this back door is in line with this block. This is actually a wood door. So this is a this is where you take the garbage and trash out here and then you have to come out through this door and then there's the dumpster over there. Alright, so once you've got this, then counting this as being number one, you're gonna come on across a total of 17 blocks till you get to right here. All right, and then you gotta turn this way. You got a total of four blocks here. This is the first drive-through window. A total of one, two, three, four, five, six blocks there. You gotta go back in four blocks. All right, now counting this as being number one. You got a total of 10 blocks on this one to this block there. All right, again, one, two, three, and four. This will be the second drive through window. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then again, four blocks this way. And then counting this as being block number one, you're going to have a total of 11 blocks to this block right here. So we're just looking at the straight line here. So coming on across, 11 blocks to here. Now you should have these three there. And then you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks with these white blocks here. That is just marking out where we're going to have the banners saying Wendy's going across. Alright, now looking down at it right here, you're going to have a 2x2 two two here. So you see we've got these three blocks. You're going to have, make it four right there. So it's going to be four blocks across and two blocks wide. Alright. Now counting this as being one. You're going to go across a total of seven blocks to this block right there. Now this is where we're going to have an entrance going into Wendy's. Looking down at it, this is what it's going to look like. So you got two blocks in spacing there. And then you have four blocks here of the black. All right, now looking here, you see we got red. This texture pack, this is the red wool. I might change it up later on. But make sure that you got a different color block here. So it's going to be counting this going on across to here, looking at the red. You're going to have a total of eight blocks long and two blocks wide. Again, with these blocks here, will be six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have Wendy's right across there. So that's just marking that out with the banners. And then looking at the black line here, you're going to have a total of nine blocks right off that red. 
going on across to here. And then, as you see, it's going to come out a block. A total of seven blocks right there. And then again with the black, it's going to go in a block and you have three across. And then here will be an entrance into the gas station. You have one block here. And then these two blocks will be where the doorway will be. And then you have three blocks here. And then right here is where we started off at. These three blocks going on across. Now looking at the front of this right here. You got your first parking spot that you already got. Going on across. You guys can pause it here if needed. And then here is another handicap spot. All my parking spots are 5x7s. So this is just looking down at it to help you out here. Now right here, you notice we got a step up. These three blocks and a step up there for the sidewalk. We got the iron bars coming on across here. Having three blocks right here we have these mossy cobblestone slabs if you don't have this texture pack then use something else cobblestone, regular cobblestone will work I guess so this is going to come straight on across to there we we'll have a little grass area with bushes are going to be there and in between here you're going to do the same This acts as a curb in the drive through So this is going to come straight on down. And this is going to come one block past this block. You're going to go in. You're going to have two, block, or two slabs. And then go in like this. And these will be three. And then this will come straight up against here. Pretty easy. All right, now over here, this area with these slabs, counting this as being number one on this slab, you'll have a total of 16 blocks with those slabs to right here. Okay, so 16 slabs there. And then you're going to have these three. You're going to go in, have these two. And then as you see here, we've got three diagonal singles. Turn like this. You're going to have these two, these three, and then this one. It's going to go straight down. Don't even have to count this one because it's going to come right here up against there. You got three blocks on this spacing right here. All right. All this is grassy, uh, bushy area here. Right here is grass. There's no bushes in real life here, but there is quite a bit of bushes and things right here in the corner. So this is what I got here. Here is an electrical box. Just fill up space, but that's really there in real life. Here is the menu board. One, two, three, four, five blocks long. A space, and then the speaker box. You're going to have three blocks here from that. And then two blocks from the back. Now you notice we have this line right here, looking straight at it. You can see where that's going to be. Got a total of five blocks there. And this is the actual outside freezer. So inside the Wendy's here in the back, 
there is a cooler and freezer but when you go outside there's an additional outside freezer and that's where they keep all their bread all kinds of bread inside there and it's like 10 below zero in there super super cold all right so let's look at the white line here so I use the light gray concrete looking at these three slabs right here that's where we're gonna start our counting so this going on across is gonna be in the middle of that three we have one two three four five six alright now once you've got that spacing there then right here counting this as being one gonna come straight on down a total of 34 blocks with that white line and you should end up right here and this is the 34th block this should line up with this slab here if you've done it correctly all right now looking down at it it's pretty easy we got these two blocks these two singles turning this way you got these two blocks and then this one here is going to go straight down there's no need for counting on this one because it's going to go all the way down and you're going to line it up this will be the last block here it's going to line up here being one to the third block from that slab. Now on your drive through here you should have one, two, three, four, five blocks right there. Plenty enough room for your vehicles. Now right in here really works out because in real life there is this actual type of brick texture this here is mud bricks so just go ahead and if you want like the real thing go ahead and put the mud bricks in here if not that's okay but that's how it is and it leads all the way out to here well, alright now once we've got the foundation all done now what we're gonna do is start on the gas station side so right here we're going to look at these uh, light colored blocks here first this corner what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the stone bricks come across here these four we're gonna come across this way do these here now right here at this entrance we're going to take this smooth stone slab place in there I'm gonna be using the spruce door in this texture pack they're glass doors just use whatever doors that you have if you're using different texture pack I'm gonna take the gray stained glass this texture pack this is what it looks like all right I'm gonna come up up and over like this and then I'm going to take the stone bricks come right here and I'm going to grab the smooth stone it's going to go here up and over here as well I'm going to grab the red concrete right on top I'm going to do two layers like that now right here is going to be glass so I'm going to take this go straight inside here 
This is a pretty big window. So I'm going to go three blocks tall there. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to come on across and then carry this red on across there as well. Now, once I've got that there, then I'm going to continue with this smooth stone on top of some stone bricks. The stone bricks down here. This is a pretty basic and simple build. Again, I'm trying to go by the real thing for the blocks that I have. And if you appreciate that, please drop a like down below. This is going to come on across like this. Now right here. This is going to wrap around these three blocks here. This is going to come around like that. These three. The rest of it from here on is going to be stone bricks all the way up to the tip top there. This is going to come straight back to here. So just fill that in with the stone bricks. What? Right, Self-explanatory. Once you've got this, then now let's just move right over here to the front of this gas station. And we're simply going to take this right on across. And then we're going to take this red right on across as well. Now you see it goes in here. We're going to take the stone bricks in here. And then simply take this right on across. Just like so. Now right here we're going to take this red. Come on across like that. Now right here on this entrance. I got to looking at it. And what I'm going to do. The doorway is actually going to be right here. That way it just looks better. Two blocks on this side. Two blocks on this side. That way it's centered. So again I'm going to use. The same doors. All right, and then I'm going to take the glass, come up and over. Very simple. This is going to come on across, and then this is going to come on across as well. Just like that. All right, now right here. We're just simply going to take the stone bricks and then these on across. Just like that. Well, Alright, now once you've got this, then now let's go ahead and do this connection with this overhang from this top going on over to the gas station. So, right here your very middle pump here in line with that is going to be this that I marked out so find your middle marker your middle pillar and pump and mark right here on your top part and then you're going to count going this direction 10 blocks your 10th block place a gray wool if you're in a different texture pack place a darker or a black wool here or black concrete and then you're going to count 10 blocks from the right side as well the 10th one do the same thing now in real life for some reason this here is going to be black and not red kind of matches because there's black carpet on top of this red anyway but this here you're just going to mark these out 
and you're gonna come on back so I'm gonna go one two three four five two and three two four two and five 26 I'll do 26 blocks go ahead and take this square it off all right once you've got that then this here will be double up as well and you're gonna take this all the way around. Alright, now once you've got this here, what you're gonna do is the same thing with the roof as what we've done here. And grab the same block and it will go along here. You're gonna take out this red up top and just go ahead and connect that up. Now up under, you're going to keep that red on a cross. That's how it is in real life. Up under, down here you can see that. But up top, satellite view, this part is taken out. I try to stay to the real thing as possible. Again, if you guys appreciate that, leave a like. Alright, and then up under here is the same thing is what we have there so go ahead and fill all this in up here all right now once you've got that filled in then just take this black carpet that we got here and continue that along here go ahead and go around and connect it up to the other side now up under here this is what it looks like now right here where we have this here in the middle, we're going to line that up with three lights here. So right here is your middle here. You're going to count five blocks. You have these three lights here. Five blocks in between, another set. Another five, another set. That's all the lights you need in here. Again, the light blocks. And then down below as well. All right, now that will be the end of part one. Part two, we will finish up this build and do the Wendy's restaurant side of it. We will add a lot more detail throughout this build you can go ahead and put in your trash cans in between here on all of your pumps make sure to do your banners and check the link below and all this side again will be the Wendy's and we'll finish all this up in part two I hope that you all are enjoying this so far please drop a like if you are Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.